Hi. Now in this video, I want to show you how we go about calculating integrals where the curve approaches an asymptote. And I've got a couple of examples here that hopefully will demonstrate this. We're looking first at the curve y equals e to the power minus x. It has an asymptote which is the x-axis or the line y equals zero. And for this second example, I've only sketched part of the curve y equals one over root x for x greater than zero. And it has an asymptote which is the x-axis and the y-axis, the line y equals zero and x equals zero. So when it comes to working out, let's say this first integral, the integral of e to the power minus x between naught and infinity, we're basically trying to find out this area in here. But because the curve does not cross the x-axis, then it's very tempting to think that this area is going to be infinite but I'll show you that it isn't. It converges to a particular value. And when it comes to working out this integral for one over root x between naught and two, then we're working out the area from the y-axis here to the value x equals two, which I'll just say is there. And again, it might be tempting to think that this area here is infinite because the curve doesn't cross the y-axis. But again, I'll show you that it's not, it converges to a value. And so these two integrals are said to be convergent. Not all integrals though, like this, are convergent. They don't tend to a particular value. If they don't, they're said to be divergent. And I'll be showing you an example of this in the next video. So how do we go about finding the value of something like this? Well, what we do is let's just have a look at working out the integral from naught to a particular value in this example. Let's say that value is x equals t. So we're looking then at integrating from naught to t of e to the power minus x integrated with respect to x. And if we do this in the usual way, the integral of e to the power minus x is minus e to the power minus x. I'm going to keep the negative sign outside this set of brackets here. Don't have to, but uh, I think it's easier. And we put our limits in 0 to t. And so if we substitute our value for t in, first of all, in place of x, we're going to have minus then, and it's going to give us e to the power minus t. And then we've got minus, and we substitute 0 in. So we're going to get e to the power 0, which is 1. OK, so we've got that. And if I just simplify this, We've got negative, negative one, so that's just gonna be plus one. And then we've got minus e to the power minus t. Remember, e to the power minus t is the same as one, all divided by e to the power t. Now what we do next is we let t tend to infinity. So I'm just gonna write here as t tends to infinity. We're just taking this value further across or along the x-axis, okay? So what happens to e to the power t? Well, e to the power t gets very big. It tends to infinity. So one divided by a very large number tends to zero. So what we've got then is one over e to the power t tends to zero. So when we put these two results together, what we end up with is that therefore our integral from naught to infinity of e to the power minus x integrated with respect to x turns out to be one. As this value here, the second term, one over e to the t, tends to zero. So 
we've got a value. So this integral is said to be convergent. It tends to 1. OK? Now, we'll have a look at this second integral here. Now, with this one, the asymptote, remember, is the y-axis or the line x equals 0. So what I'm going to do is just take away some of this shading here and we're just going to put a value in here, x equals t. t is less than the value x equals 2, but greater than 0. So what we're doing then is integrating from t to 2 of 1 over root x. I'm going to write this though as x to the power minus a half, okay? Which it is, but it will just save me a bit of space here. So we're integrating 1 over root x, better though as x to the minus a half with respect to x. And if we integrate this in the usual way, at 1 to the power is just going to give us x to the power half divided by a half, that's the same as multiplying by 2. And I'm going to keep that 2 out the front of this bracket. OK? So we've got then 2x to the power half. And it's going between the limits of t and 2. And if we substitute our values in, starting with 2, we're going to get 2 times then the square root of 2. 2 root 2. And then it's going to be minus, substitute t in here for x, and we've got 2 times t to the power half, or 2 root t. OK? And we do basically what we were doing over here, only t isn't tending to infinity this time. t is tending towards the asymptote here, 0. So as t tends to 0, what we've got then is that this second term, two, minus 2 root t, is going to tend to 0. The root of 0 is 0. So we've got root of t, that tends to 0. So we now then have our final answer. That is the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 over root x with respect to x, well, that's just going to be 2 root 2, because that second term here tends to 0. OK, so we've got a value for this integral, and so this integral is said to be convergent. So we've got two values then for these types of integrals, and as I said earlier then, they are examples of convergent integrals. OK, we just write that in here, convergent integrals. And that's basically how you handle them. So I hope that's been of some value to you. And in the next video, I'll give you examples of divergent integrals, ones that don't approach a particular value. OK?